Hi everyone, welcome back uh, to another video. So today we're doing a bit of a review uh, of Wish Art Supplies. So I've been wanting to do this for a while and I finally, a few weeks slash months ago, went on Wish and tried to get a bunch of free or like really, really cheap art supplies from Wish. And uh, it was an adventure, so let's go into that right now before i get into the actual review so i went on to wish.com and immediately off the bat crazy wish.com classic wish.com and i went in and i typed in art and tried to see what came up and the first thing that caught my eye was this set of micron quote unquote micron pens and it said it came in a seven slash eight pack and it was five pounds so i was like you know what add it to the cart Next up, I kept on scrolling and I saw some very interesting things here and there. None that caught my eye too much. Um, although these gradient pens, fountain pens that I saw, I literally almost bought like one of each color because look at how gorgeous they are. Oh my God. But continuing on our search, I then saw this creepy looking eraser thing that said electric eraser and immediately my attention was caught so again into the cart and then i started seeing a lot of paintbrushes but first of all i saw this interesting thing i don't even know what i would call it but this plastic thing for tracing that i saw and was like you know what it looks like something i've never seen before so i'm very intrigued and uh, after looking at all the pictures and seeing that it was basically just a tool to trace onto paper i decided to add it to the cart i was it was just five pounds i then saw a, a packet of markers that then took me to the thought of what if I had a look at some brush markers uh, as they are obviously all the rage uh, and they're amazing to work with. So I kept that in my mind for later and kept scrolling. I found these mechanical pencils that looked super cool. They're like the two millimeter mecha mechanical pencils. I got one in black, added it to the cart. Let's go. And then I decided to go up there and actually search in brush marker so i uh typed it in and the the thing that i noticed is that every time you open something up under the name brush marker eight out of ten of those things aren't actually brush markers they're like chisel tips um i then also saw these that i thought were really cute and i bought them thinking that they were a, were a set of colors and uh, later we find out that they're not, but uh, stay tuned to that. I then also found this set of really cool calligraphy pens and they were only two pounds for the pack of three, so added it to the cart. And then of course I carried on, my, on with my uh, search for a packet of brush pens, uh, alcohol brush pens that would, that were actually brush pens and not ridiculously priced because we're here for a wish price, not a reasonable price, come on. So um, I then started finding this uh, brand that did mainly like uh, skin tone sets and just set like fixed sets of colors for different kinds of things. And they were actually brush markers. So I went down this path and picked out a sort of color combo that I thought had some interesting colors to pick from and um, added it to the cart. And then I decided to go for a different search term and uh, type in free art supplies and see what we could find under this search term. And I saw some very interesting things such as these like gold uh, watercolors and stuff like that. And they were, they looked promising, but of course everything looks promising on Wish. Uh, but I decided not to go into the watercolor area region this time around. I then had a look at the uh, brushes that were on Wish. I found this set of detailed brushes that looked very promising and I always love testing out brushes from these retail shops online. Uh, so I got the small set for like really, really teeny tiny details and got a set of that for one pound and added it to the bag. So lastly, I actually found a cheaper version of the markers that I had found uh, previously for the same number of markers. There's a lot of that on Wish, a lot of like the same product being listed um, under different names and prices. So I found a cheaper version of them. So for £25, I got a set of markers. Uh, 
24 markers uh, and I just got a random set of colors. And uh, with all that said and done, I checked out. Cha-ching. So that was an adventure. And now, a few weeks slash months later, it's all here. So uh, let's uh, let's have a look, shall we? I'm very excited to try these out. I'm really like psyched. What do I even start with? I'm gonna start with this package because I can't really see what's inside. So we love a surprise. So, okay, so here we have the paintbrushes that I got, the set of paint, the tiny, tiny detail paintbrushes. And here we go. I'm gonna just take off the plastic things off of all of them. And here, here they are. They look quite good, quite sturdy and not like uh, they're fraying at the ends, which is what I was expecting to be honest from really, really, really cheap paintbrushes. But so far so good on the paintbrushes. What's next? Oh, what was also in the package is the mechanical pencil. And it also comes with a few, doesn't say how many, but a few uh, two millimeter extra lead thingies. And I, I've always wanted to have one of these. In high school, a lot of people have these kinds of um, mechanical pencils that have like the really thick leads, I guess you'd call them. And uh, I'm really excited to try it. I know that this top thing over here is like an eraser, um, a sharpener, I mean. So you can like get it off and then sharpen this. So this should be interesting. And also in the package came a rubber that I don't remember getting. I think it came with the uh, with the mechanical pencil, this eraser, soft eraser. Yep, there she is. <laughs> and then also the brush pens that I am also very psyched to try out. Here they are. I got the three sizes. Yeah. Okay, so here we've obviously got the Micron pen set that I got that is still uh, to be confirmed whether or not they're real or dupes or, you know, like fakes. I really don't know how to tell if they're real or not. So if anyone knows how to spot whether or not these Microns are real, uh, let me know in the comments. But so like literally they look so real. So yeah, let's, um, let's swatch them out in a sec. Okay, so this is the little stand thing that helps you with tracing that I got. I need a pair of scissors though. I'm very interested in this item because I've never seen anything like it. And I'm very s interested to see if it like works, mainly. <laughs> oh, I need to assemble it, huh? Does it bring any instructions? No, okay, so I guess I have to go through by the, the picture. There we go. I think I did it right. We'll soon find out. And now open this one, which I think is the uh, mechanical eraser. Uh, and all the eraser extra bits are just loose in here, so that's great. Ah! I, somehow I saw that happening and I still did it. Okay, so I, again, no instructions. I don't really know how this works. Do I need to put batteries in this? Yep. Five minutes later. I think I put them in right. Oh, there we go. This is awesome. I'm trying to get you real up and close. Oh my God, it does it. Oh. <laughs> Apparently you can switch them out for like thinner, thinner boys. I, I don't know how though. And then we've got this set of brush markers. From the looks of it, it also comes with a fine liner and a gel pen and a pencil. So that's cute. I'm just gonna take them out and put them in the little pouch that comes with it. They look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I like the packaging, it's shiny and stuff. I like that the markers have like names for each color as well. Pretty cool. Ooh, that's nice. And uh, f well, finally, the last item that arrived, which is why, which is also the reason I got really confused about this whole video, is this pen. 
So when I bought this, I thought it was going to come with a whole set. And then this arrived on its own in a bag. And I was like, oh, are they going to start sending me all the pens individually? And then I went back and checked on my, re my orders list. And turns out they send you one of the pens and at random. So this is the color that I got from the random selection. Well, I mean, to be fair, it is a free item, so I'm not surprised. So I am going to now begin the swatching section of this video. Um, I'm just gonna swatch all this stuff in my sketchbook and starting off with this pencil. So it does the job that it it is intended to make it has you know the flat area that is good for shading and it's super lightweight as well the pencil like it's barely it barely weighs anything which is quite surprising because it looks really sturdy and you know but also i'm not i'm kind of not surprised that it doesn't weigh anything because it's wish it does the job beautifully i'm I actually really really enjoy this i'm not gonna lie I'm gonna use this a lot. <laughs> and then I wanna try out this eraser that came with it. I wanna see if it's any good. Oh, it's actually quite good. I like you. You're a good rubber. Okay, next up I wanna swatch these brush pens because I'm really, really psyched about them. I hope they're good. It's very hard to screw up a brush pen, so I'm just gonna zoom you guys in. Okay, so this is the small nib. So it's got this one thing that kind of annoys me in brush pens, it's when you do like an upstroke, it has like this ridge. So it has like this um, U shape at the top when you do like an upstroke. And that kind of, I don't know, it kind of makes me a little annoyed. Like this, it's, it feels like it has a gap. But other than that, it's just a brush pen. It, it works, it does the job. So now let's try the medium, which is this one. It's a bit better on the upstroke department. It doesn't have as much of a noticeable like fault gap, whatever you call it. It's quite nice actually. And now for the large. Yep, it's large and charge. There we go. Very nice this one. So those are a win. We're still gonna see if how they work with other materials, but so far, so good, two for two. Oh, actually, since we're here, let's try out the mechanical eraser with the pencil that we've gotten. Oh, did you see that? That was magical. Oh, let me get you a close-up shot of this. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Did you see that? That's insane, oh my God. This is the best thing that I've ever owned. I feel like I shouldn't have something close to a drill in my hands. And yet here we are. Uh, let's try out these microns. So this is 0.05. Yeah, not bad. They don't really work if you do it like on their side. It seems like the side, if you, if you work like this instead of like this, it, it, it doesn't come out with any ink. And also, actually, it looks like the 0 0.1 is uh, out of ink. Oh no, <laughs> that ain't good. No, 0 0.1 is completely dry. That's um, an interesting revelation. So I'm just gonna put him over there. Ahem, <clears throat> onto 0 0.2. Much better. Now we're talking. Okay, 0 0.2 is in the game. 0 0.3. I think I've realized uh, how they're fake. Okay, I got it. So I'm just gonna compare this to my actual real micron that I got here. So if you if you can hear this, um, the re this is a real micron. When you open and close the cap, it has like a really sh like a really loud noise. So right, and this one. nothing it's super soft so i think that that's a very big tell so these are obviously very much fake they still work it's not like they don't do the job obviously one of them came dry but um oh this brush pen's quite nice actually 
It's got a very long brush, um, as you can see. Okay, so those are the microns. Um, I'm just gonna bin this one because it's absolutely empty. Okay, so I've just got this Winsor & Newton Crimson ink over here, and uh, I'm just gonna pick out one of the brushes and try these out. They're not bad. They do the job. They're actually quite soft, which is great. And so that you can still cover quite a large area, but they, they still do, you know, the detailed stuff. I quite like these. I mean, I'm probably going to use them in some of my paintings. So the brushes were a very nice surprise because I was expecting them to be really bad and like cheapish looking, but they're very good. I'm going to try out this random brush pen that we got from Future Color. And it's the color, we don't know, <laughs> it doesn't say. Or if it does, I can't read it because it's in another language. But yeah, it's a nice marker. I like this color. It's a very nice bl blue, I like it. Um, and now finally, I wanna try out um, this and the markers. Okay, so I, I guess this is for like using with a phone or like an iPad, I'm assuming, uh, because that's what was on the image. So actually what I'm gonna try and do is see how it works with like a reference image and see how well it translates onto the page, which is what it should do. Okay, let's grab this one, this random reference picture. So what I am assuming you do is you put it there and then it, you're, you're meant to put it over here and then trace it, uh, but it's a little blurry. Um, maybe it's this, the, I put on the, the plastic screen the wrong way. Wait. Nope, still blurry. <laughs> Let's try it either way. Let's try tracing this. Because it has like a, a double image. If you look at it, like, I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but it has like a very double, like when you're seeing double, that's what I'm seeing on the page. So you kind of have to pick which one Oh, this is weird. I don't like this. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, it's hurting my eyes a lot. I think you have to also squint or just close one of your eyes. I wouldn't say this is like a very easy tool for tracing. Like it's obviously, if you're doing like very uh, general tracing jobs, like a house or something uh, that doesn't require too much detail, I guess it'll do the job, but if you're tracing something with a lot more detail, um, this is not the item for the, for that. Are you ready? Okay, that's actually not bad. I'm actually shocked. Okay, I, I mean, I missed some some areas. I that, that's on me though. I also forgot to mention that it will mirror whatever it is you're drawing. There's a there's an obvious like little small size difference in in uh, in the translation, I guess you'd call it, but. Other than that, it, it kind of did the job. I, I will recommend if you use something like this, do close one of your eyes because it will hurt so much in your eyeballs if you don't. I do, however, want to try and swatch out these markers. Oh, ho, ho. okay. It's very flexible brush, as you can see. Not too bad. It still does the job. It's still a brush pen, you know? So now let's go for the colors. Um, also, I want to try out this uh, this fine liner that came with it. Does it is it like special? Does it just not uh, bleed with the markers? Oh, yeah, it doesn't bleed with the marker. So I guess it's a good um, option if you're um, to line with this actually. So I tried out the, the, the white gel pen on on top of the markers and I'm actually surprised at how opaque it is. I was expecting it to be a lot less bright, but it actually kind of works as you, you can tell from the camera that it's there. So I'm not, I'm not disappointed. Let's, uh, let's have a look at the bleed. 
not too much bleed. You guys, it barely bled onto the next page. That's quite shocking. Whoa. A part of me kind of wants to try out all these markers on one drawing. Since we've already kind of have this drawing over here, how about we just try to use this? I was expecting this video to go very differently. I was expecting it to be very, these materials to be very, very bad. Go wish so far. 12 seconds later. Ruh -roh. Oh no, we've had another tragedy. Wish you were doing so good. Uh, 0.4 is also dry. Mm, bye bye. Come on, fake microns. I've got a lot riding on you. I really liked the green, this green, and this um, like rosy color. So I'm gonna go for those two somehow. Actually, first of all, I'm gonna color in her shirt with this blue. Oh no, that was a mistake. Whoa, okay, you know what? I'm gonna work with this. I am going to make do. I'm gonna go in with a lighter one, E142, and see how that works in, first of all, how it works with the, these fake microns. Uh, and would you, would you believe that they don't really bleed that much? What? <laughs> I was actually expecting it to bleed loads. Okay, no, it does bleed. Whoops, oh no. Oh no, oh, oh no. Should have probably tested that out earlier. Hmm, it's fine, we can work with this. Let's see how you blend. Come on, work with me here. Mm, you know, the, mm. Oh, I'm trying to salvage this, but uh, oh no, oh this is not going too well, huh? Just keep adding color, Pipe. You'll you'll fix this. It's fine. She's not looking too good. Okay, so they're very streaky as well as I've noticed, but I mean. Okay, this is fine. Okay, so it's not too bad. It's not too bad, you guys. Um, I've seen worse, you know? Considering there's a, a huge menagerie of uh, of markers and materials that probably shouldn't work together. So this is pretty much it. Um, this is me trying out all of my Wish art supplies. I hope you enjoyed watching me kind of suffer but also be hella shocked once in a while. What do I recommend? Final reviews. This was super fun. It's still very fun, but also get this away from me. I don't trust myself. This pencil, very, very good. Uh, and uh, the paintbrushes actually were very pleasantly surprising. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me through this long video. So thank you so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.